I don't know. What. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's how we're starting. <laughs> Welcome to the Lousy Show. I'm Sam. I'm Joe. Yeah, we're just jumping straight into it. I don't even... <laughs> yeah, that's how we sync our audio, and then we just we just had a moment. <laughs> we we have been musicians most of our lives. Yeah, at this point, yeah. and I think that was like one of the like those moments where we're just like, oh, there's a beat in our head. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I don't know if there was actually a beat. I think we were just trying to create one. I'll be honest. In my head, I, yeah. was, I was hearing like, bam, 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 bam. Yeah. Like, sense. yeah. <laughs> well, uh, welcome back. Uh, we're we're here. Was this episode ten? Uh, yeah. Night. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I was, okay. I was going more. La night. You went more. Uh, what was it? What was his name? Little John. Yeah. But I, I did okay. Like uh, like I'm over here. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> welcome back to another episode. We hope you're enjoying the show. Uh, well, you must be if you're returning or if it's your first time yeah, finding us. So uh, then, then we'll welcome. Uh, all we ask is you do two very simple things before we get going. Hit the subscribe button. Or if you're listening to us, hit the follow button. And uh, yeah, and then also. I'm going to add a third one. It's not as simple. Uh, let us know if you've watched all 10 of these so far. <laughs> yeah, if you're at this point, comment uh, down below if you've actually watched all 10. And then uh, if you do, uh, just as a heads up, we will be sending somebody to check on you just because that seems a little sus. But, you know, you know why would you want to watch something that's lousy for 10 episodes? I mean, we could get into the economic downfall and the mental uh, depreciation of the uh, world's youth and uh, early adulthood. Uh, and how that might transpire through video and audio uh, induction. Um. Or just bl- a bright flashy light, go good on brain. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. All right. Well, you know what? That has nothing to do with today's episode. Absolutely nothing at all. Uh, Segway. Sam. Yes, sir. Let the people know. Bro, we love to eat some food. That's yes. all I'm going to say right now. Even though um, I'm on a diet. I mean, as, you know, pres- present diet excluded. Um Overall, in our 31 years of living on this great rock that we call Earth, uh, we have tried a lot of fast food burgers, specifically. Yes. Yes. And so we have our favorites. We have our not-so-favorites. And so we have decided to compile them all onto a tier list. And so we found a beautiful tier list already made on Tier Maker. um, And we are going to be going through and uh, crowning some victors and uh, throwing some shit in the trash that belongs there. Because it's garbage. So um, now here's the hard part of this. What's that? We have to agree. We do. Which I mean, I think on most of these, or on some of these, we're gonna agree. Uh, there's one I know we're gonna come to blows with, um, mm. and uh, maybe two. I'm I'm looking and I'm seeing like, I'm seeing de- I'm definitely seeing two. I'm seeing a couple that I know we're definitely going to agree on. Yeah. And there's going to be some good conversation. So, yep, absolutely. So, we shall start. Should we just go in the order that it's, it is on there? You know what? Why not? Let's yep. let's okay. just go in the order. Um, you know, and, and, and bear in mind, you know, listeners, there that there are some on this list that we've never yeah. tried before. So, we do have a list of never tried. So, yeah. if, if there is one, let us know how it is and we'll go try and find it. And, absolutely. And try it. So. But we'll, you know what? You know what? We'll have to go find it, and we'll have to do a continuation. continuation. Anyways, didn't, didn't have the glasses on. Uh, yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's jump in right yep. the first uh, start here. Burger King. Burger Kong. Definitely not the king. I can tell you that right out the gate. Not t- not an S tier by any means. So are we? Uh, hang on. Are we basing this solely off of burgers? <sighs> I think we should. I, I would love to say burger and fries. Oh yeah, bur- fries included. Yeah, okay. sorry. Yeah, burger, okay. fries, drink. We can use a shake as a tiebreaker. Okay. If, if needed. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Know, that. I'm with that. Uh, yeah. So Burger King is about as mid as it gets for me. Uh, it's uh, very B tier, B for Burger King, and uh, like it's good burgers. Fries are pretty decent, but I, I, every Burger King I ever see is always a little sketchy. But that's where the flavor is, <laughs> and and I I'm gonna tell you uh, I would put Burger King at A tier because okay. a long time ago when I worked for a certain provider uh-huh. uh, and I managed a store in that same shopping center was a Burger King and I yeah. frequented there. Oh yeah, there was one right there. Yes, yep. mm-hmm. and I'll tell you right now a double Whopper with some fries and a cold soda mm-hmm. gonna slap your teeth in. It can hit. Um, 
I I, I would say that they definitely have some misses mm. on their their menu, but when it comes to burgers, I I, I would have to say like a minus. Let me throw in a wild card. I know we said this isn't going to be part of it, but I just have to at least make you aware of it. They are also responsible for the most annoying commercial on the planet. Whopper, Whopper, Jason Whopper, or whatever the fuck it is. And so for that, yeah, I Yeah, but they should, also came yeah. up with the mo- one of the most iconic commercial individuals. What's that? Oh, the, the, the king. The king. I mean, he does have a video game. Yeah. So, yeah. I know we're, that's not official ranking stuff, but no, I just we'll, want to make it known. A little footnote, little caveat. Fuck that commercial. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, that thing sucks. Um, so so you're you're strong. You're pretty strong convicted at A tier? Because here's where Unless, I... If you can put a, a a strong argument together for why it needs to go B tier... I can't. Uh, I can't. I mean, I'm, like, I'm at A. Yeah, okay. But so here's where I'll concede. That was the first meal my wife and I had after our wedding. <laughs> Oh, th- yeah, yeah. yeah, well, there you go. I <laughs> yeah. mean, what do you we, mean? That's sentimental. We got to the um, the hotel, and somehow she managed to not eat. And so, of course, she was very hungry. Even though I remember telling both of you to? Yeah. Oh, I ate. I I smacked down some sandwiches. Um, they but were good. They were really good. H-E-B, shout out. Uh, yeah, yeah, facts. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> um, the gods. But, uh, yeah, she managed to somehow miss it, even though we went down before everybody. I just, just want to say this is a plug. H-E-B yeah. sponsors, please. Yeah, please, for the love of God. Uh, he'll cut your fair God. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll, I'll give it the A, but in my heart, it's still a B. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll go with that. All right. McDonald's. S tier. Easy. <sighs> I, I don't know if it's going to be S plus, but it's the gold standard. A classic McDouble or McChicken or a McGangbang. I was saying McGangbang. Yeah. I'm thinking Combined to myself, so here's a couple things. I'm yeah. thinking to myself, like, how much I've had McDonald's in my life. Yeah. And it's more than any other burger place. 100%. But that's also because it's very easy to get to. It is the most convenient one. Yes. yes. And they're always cheap. Yes. Yeah. Um, I, I I was going to say A, but I could say S. I, it is better. I, I'm using Burger King as the baseline now. Yeah. And, and I would much rather have McDonald's over. Burger yeah, King. I would. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know because when it comes to like, I think of this. It, when it comes to like a double Whopper or a Big Mac, which one am I going to want? No, fuck the Big Mac. Big Mac's the worst burger they have on the fucking menu. Okay, okay. Yeah. So if it comes to a double a double Whopper du- or a quarter pounder, a double quarter pounder with cheese. Yeah, yeah. That's if I think of those two, yeah. double quarter pounder. With both cheese. have their phenomenal flavors. Double both are pounder. fantastic. <laughs> double quarter pounder with cheese <laughs> every time. <sighs> But, I'll say yes. I mean, but I'll concede to no, an S. Well, okay, let, let's keep going then. Fries compared to uh, to Burger King, McDonald's fries are legendary. Yeah, yeah. You Burger cannot King. beat McDonald's fries in in the big two because that's the big two. But McDonald's Actually, and Burger King. So in 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 spirit of the lousy show, I yeah. forgot to judge the fries. I'll yeah. move Burger King to a B. Oh hell yeah! Thank you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but I'll put yeah. but but with that, I would put McDonald's at an A. Because I don't think, well, you no, you're right. S, because then I'll concede to an S. Because okay, their their fries are the gold standard. Like you, when you eat fries, yeah. you think of like, like McDonald's is the one that you you get you a large fry. I'm like they're so just so hungry right now. I'm starving. <laughs> yeah. uh, all I've had today are walnuts. Like yay diet. Um, but like you think of, like the gold standard to fries. Like you think that that that's I mean the arches. You immediately think of that. Mm-hmm. The double quarter pounder with cheese, two fat meat patties, great toppings. Mm-hmm. S tier. And then going beyond that even into the drinks with McDonald's having specially formulated <laughs> Coke. No, 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 no. Right. I want that crispy spike. <laughs> <laughs> I want that crispy Sprite. Right. All of their drinks hit different. They do. And I mean, and they've gone into the science of like the diameter of the fucking straw and yeah. how much aeration that allows for. Yep. And so because of that, I have to give it at least the respect that it deserves of an S tier. Yeah, I can say S tier. Okay, thank you. In and out. D. 
Abs- I would give it an F if we had one up here. I have s- but brother, in Thank and out you. Is trash and all you fucking Californians <laughs> that love it so much. I've had it, it in California and Texas. No. It's terrible. Rhett and Link, yeah. I was watching an episode. They were talking uh-huh. about uh, fast food places like yeah. a few months ago. I'm going to tell you right now, Rhett, you're wrong. You're wrong. You're a heathen. I hope you know you're wrong. In and out is garbage. They have four menu items yeah. and all of them are trash. Yeah. Their fries are horrible. They're always they're never good. Their mm-hmm. burgers, what do you I can make better burgers at home. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For cheaper. Oh my yeah. God. Oh, dude. In and out. Like, the I don't. Worst. Here's the thing. I would not have such a burning passion against In and Out if mm-hmm. it weren't for the fact that they have this, like, it, it, they, it's like almost like they have this community of cultists. That's such a cult following. Who who blindly eat shitty food and think it's God's gift to creation. Yeah. I, I do not know how. I've never had a. Good burger. I've had an I, okay burger. I know somebody's going to get really mad at this episode 100%. if they listen to it. And it's going to yeah. be Corleone. Yeah. <laughs> Corleone and yeah. I have had this argument. Yep. Yeah. I mean, there's. A, I've had this argument with plenty of people, and it's always very divisive because we're going to yeah. get to another one later that's got a bit of a cult following that yes. we'll probably also agree on. But yes, um, Wendy's a terrible. What is the worst? No, <laughs> dude. This okay. is the one that I knew we were coming to blows on. Now I will concede the fries and the frosties. Amazing fries and frosty combo. Okay, yeah. let me let me let me pitch an argument to you real yeah. quick. Mm-hmm. The fries and frosty combo, top tier. Uh, usually S plus plus. Absolutely, like, yeah. absolutely. But then we have to factor in the burgers. Unfortunately, now, I want you to talk. I want you to think about this: a Dave's triple, all right, or a Fair. Dave's double. Yeah. F- uh, using Burger King as a baseline here, okay? I'd rather have Burger King. I would not. I would rather have a Dave's double over a double Whopper. I think that mm. the flavors combine better. I think that the bun holds better juices. I've never had a dry burger from Wendy's. Mm. I have had dry food or dry dry meat, I should say, from Burger King. I have never had a bad experience with their fries. They're phenomenal. They're delicious. I mean, it, the combination, again, when it comes to the entire plate, yeah. I've never had a bad experience with Wendy's. So here's where I, I will concede a B, maybe. Um, and that's purely on the fries and on the Frosty. Um, and the drinks are okay, but you know, it's, it's a fucking normal soda, well, but I, I'll, I'll, I'll agree to a B mm-hmm. only on the fact of one thing that you've said this and it clicked in my head just now, What their drink, their fountain drink selection is minimal compared yeah. to the others. Correct. Here's my thing is, is a few things. I, not, when I, when I go to Wendy's, most of the time I get sick, most of the time. And it's not just like a freak thing. Like I thought it was maybe just the like the one that I used to go to in Virginia, because like admittedly they were okay burgers, but even here, I get sick, like violent diarrhea every time. <laughs> and so I don't know what it is, because like I eat shitty food. It's not like it's shocking the system. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's you <know>. true. <laughs> this is true. Like and so like I don't know what it is, but then it's that. And then why are the fucking burger patties square? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> that it's a round bun with a square fucking there. They did not put the fucking square peg in the round hole, but they somehow fucking managed to do it over. So that's a your OCD. That's so part of it's my OCD. Part of it's the fact that I get very sick. But like I said, I will concede a B. I'll say B because they're fries and frosties. The fries and frosties are amazing. I can have I'll, that all day every day. I'll but, say B. I, yeah. I I want there to be known. I would absolutely put this at a. At, at an A plus, like Wendy's is elite, but no, that red rallies headed, redheaded bitch can go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've never had rallies, so I have had rallies. Okay, it is it's mid. Um, I would probably put it at C, okay. and the reason I say that their their burgers are not memorable. Okay, their fries are subpar. Mm. I mean, like, yeah, that's that's really like all you can kind of give to that. Gotcha. Let's so, uh, let's roll out the red carpet for the true hero of this uh, of this tier list. The, that, the one I, and only. I swear to God, if you don't put it where it, where it belongs, thank you, thank you, that's, thank you. That's why. Like I said, so this is the other side of the cult following, which we are a part of. Yes, we. <laughs> yes, yes, proudly. Uh, but I mean, at the same time, we went into it objectively because, like, I moved here. I was like, "What a burger! What the fuck is what a burger?" Kansas City has what a burger. Oh hell yeah! Nice. Um, yeah. So, Shout out to Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but. Uh, Whataburger is fucking incredible. Yes. I've never had a bad burger there. Nope. I've never had bad fries there. Nope. Uh, they have spicy fucking ketchup, which yep. is 
delicious. Yep. It's so fucking good. Now, the, the new one, though, isn't as good. Where the, They basically just put like salsa and ketchup together, and it's not yeah. very good. But the OG spicy ketchup, which they still have, is totally fine. They have Dr. Pepper fucking milkshakes. Yep. Um, which are really good, actually. Yep. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I don't see any. It's a Texas staple, uh, and they're starting to spread throughout the U.S., which I really hope they spread far and wide and are con- keeping up with the quality. Yes. Because um, the quality is always good. Um, well, that's part of, like, why. Yeah. There's one thing I've noticed is, like, when I first visited Texas, <clears throat> when we, when like, when I first visited down here and you were like, I have to take you. Yeah. To what a burger, and mm-hmm. I was like, what, "What's a what, what a burger? What?" Yeah. And I and and like you were just like, "Do it." Mm-hmm. The first time we went, I had a Texas melt. Yep. <sighs> and they, yeah, and they go way beyond just a normal burger. Yeah, too. like so, and like it, they'll have a normal burger, and then they have yeah, like fucking grilled God, cheese I'm sandwiches so with right meat. Now. Oh yeah, I'm gonna devour some food I'm after so this. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm glad we waited vegetables. for this to be the last stretch of this recording because, oh. like, uh, yeah, I need. For food. those wondering, we're yeah. three episodes deep in yeah. recording right now. <laughs> yep. It's not that we decided to just wear the same thing every single day. We're yeah. three episodes deep, Although and we I are do basically starving. Wear the same thing every day. Well, but, same. Yeah. I mean, minus the V, but. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, but what a burger. That's the one thing I'll say because it's all like located here. Yeah. They definitely keep a a, a hand on the quality. But they so. Uh, a few years ago, they sold to another company, um, and they are now starting to spread. Um, I wonder which, who owns that company. I don't know, some big company, and so there, there are some, some concerns with that naturally. Just, of course, you know, but uh, so far it seems to be good. Um, for example, up in Tennessee, my sister in law lives up there, and uh, she loves Whataburger, and they finally w- put one near her. That's and good. she is very excited about that. So, yep. but yeah, Whataburger is an S plus tier. Uh, if you disagree, uh, fuck off. Um, honestly, honestly, uh, yeah. Or put it in the comments, I guess. But you're just wrong either way. So, yeah, I can't wait to downvote those. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Can I just? I'm just gonna report them for for, <laughs> <laughs> for, for suspicious activity. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're clearly a Russian bot. So yeah. <laughs> get out of here, you in and out commie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're getting some dab votes on this one. Oh, yeah. I cannot wait. Yep. Anyway, Fat Burger. I have not had Fat Burger. Never tried. Yep. So that is a that Jack in the Box. It has been a long time since I've had Jack in the Box. Um, so I remember being fond of it, but it was not over top of Burger King. Or I was, I was say like C. That. Yeah. Like I'd, I'd probably put it at a C tier. Um, of course, now we do have to at least. Note that they have definitely leaned into the stoners um, to with the, to help with their success because they have like literal midnight munchie boxes is what they're called, mm-hmm. and they have like tacos and a bunch of other stuff now. So no, know your demographic like, exactly. Yeah, yeah. so um, I respect Jack in the Box. At some point, we'll need to try it more yes. recently, just because, like I said, it's been literally probably twenty years since I've had it. Something so. tells me we're going to do a future episode where we actually try this food blindly yeah. and just mm-hmm. kind of rate it and then yeah. go from there. Like, yeah. oh well, you know. Uh, Yep. I think that'd be I think it'd be good. Let us know in the comments if you think that'd be a good yeah, episode. That'd be a really fun one. So, uh, Tommy's I'll never had it. Yeah, I don't know what Tommy's is. Uh, the famous one from the movie White Castle, which we both had. We both both had. Yeah, I've only had it that one time. I've had it multiple times. Yeah, we, yeah. So I really liked it. I don't know that I'd put it above McDonald's for sure, or well, at the same level of McDonald's. Actually, so, I'm pretty, pretty, kind of pretty low, but. So I, I I would say this the last time I went there's actually oh well not this wasn't the last time this I've been up a few times after this but there's a picture where I'm at the table and it, you know the sliders come those little cartons yeah and my I have a tower that's above my head because that's oh, how many I ate yeah um and I was I was a hoss at the yeah. time too so I was like <laughs> putting away some food they're um, definitely unique in that they do sliders primarily yeah so you know it's just like little tiny mini burgers uh like that a little bit of grilled onion. Uh, and that's it, really. Like, you know, yeah. you can get them with cheese if you want, but you know, I, I would, I would go as far as saying this. I think White Castle is, it has a sense of nostalgia to it. Mm. Uh, I think the burgers definitely have a sense of nostalgia to them. I think that the fries are okay. Uh, you yeah, don't go, you don't go to White Castle for fries. Like, no, you, no. you, you don't go to order a large fry with your food. Like, it's just kind of you get your combo meal. Yep. Uh, I would say that while the burgers are good, that everything else doesn't have the same redeeming quality. I would put this actually in the same level as Burger King because I still think Wendy's is better personally, but we're not putting Wendy's in A tier. Definitely. Not. So I'm going to put, I would say White Castle B tier. Okay. Wiener schnitzel. 
Not exactly a burger place you would think of. Yeah. Definitely more hot dogs. I don't know why it's on that list. I mean, they have burgers. I'll, actually, I don't think I've had their burger, come to think of it. I don't think I have either. I think I've only had hot dogs and corn dogs there. Well, then we probably need to put it on Never Tried. Yeah, let's just put it there just to be fair. Um, but, yeah, shout out to Wiener Schnitzel. <laughs> A&W. Uh, I remember the last time I had this, and I will hold my comments until you're done. I don't think I've had it. Yeah, I don't think I've actually ever had an AW. Awesome. Yeah. Put it at D tier. D tier. Okay. <laughs> I got violently yeah. ill after ah. eating there. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. The last time I had that, I, I got their food. I remember eating it. And then what was probably maybe an hour later, if that, I was, I was, it was violence. Yeah. Just <laughs> blah, out of both ends. So, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Carl's uh, Jr., a.k.a. Hardee's. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I. So. There's all, there's always been kind of debate between Carl's Jr. versus Hardee's. It's mostly the same thing. There are some slight differences between them. The shakes I can confirm are the same, um, and their shakes are fucking banging. Um, I remember you in high school. Yeah, we had a Hardee's right, literally by, right yeah. by the high school, and right you would stop either into school or yeah. on your way out. To Usually stop on and the get way them. out. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, it would be that, or um, I used to take somebody home because they didn't have a driver's license and, I, and we got gas money every time. And so, but we went to McDonald's every single day to the point where we'd pull up and our orders already on the screen. Jesus. <laughs> and yeah. Uh, so yeah, I felt very fat after that, but um, yeah, we used to go to McDonald's. Sounds like our old beat those days. Uh, yeah. And one too far after that or yeah. too far before that. But so um, Carl's Jr. and Hardee's, their fries are really good. Um, they do the whole like, you know, still have the skin. <laughs> On the fries? What? I have to tell the story. Which one? No cheese, no bun. Oh, oh of course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I'll, I'll briefly tell the story. Yeah. This is a this is a longer story for sure. There's a lot of detail to it, but I will briefly tell the story. So uh, this is back when you and I played in a band with four other individuals. We were a six-piece. It was a great yep. time. So I probably think the very first like actual band we were a part of. Yeah. Um, and, uh, we wanted to go play a prank on one of our buddies who had just gotten a job at the local Hardee's. Yep. Uh, we rolled up in my 1988 Lincoln town car. Such a legendary car. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I missed that car. All six of us in that car. It was yep. a great time. Um, we rolled up and I remember I was talking, I was talking like this yep. and they were like, how can I help you? And I was like, let me get out of this burger here. Uh, let me get it with no bun and no cheese. And they were like. So you wanted this burger? I said, yeah, but no bun and no cheese. I'm allergic to buns and cheeses <laughs> or something <laughs> like that. And they actually made the burger, yeah. but they did it with a lettuce wrap. Yeah, because this was kind of before, like, gluten-free and, yes. like, lettuce wraps and stuff. So, like, yes. and especially in, like, fucking Podunk, a little, like, small town Virginia, they're like, why wouldn't you want to get a bun and cheese yeah. on your burger? That's just kind of part of it. <laughs> yeah, they were. And, and, but I remember, like, they, like, of course, our buddy was like, oh, ha, 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 yeah. funny, funny. And, they, and, yeah. and it still made us pay for it, which I was like, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> we weren't going to just roll away from that. No. But, uh, gave, like, we had it in the car, and I think I ate the fries. And uh, somebody, like, I think the burger was there, and we passed around, like, who's going to eat this? And no one would eat it. And our buddy Cody is sitting in the back passenger side, and he gets, he goes, I don't want it. And instead of checking to see if his window's down, this man yeets it like he's throwing it out of the car, and it just detonates on my window. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it was, it was a good time. Good time with that. Um, yeah. Off nostalgia alone. Yeah. <laughs> no. it'd, it'd almost be an S plus, but like it's, I, I wouldn't put it that high. For me, it's more like A tier. So not quite McDonald's, not quite Burger King. So here's where you effed me. Uh oh. Because I don't think it's better than Wendy's. Oh. That's where you have officially well, so, screwed me. But you, in your heart of hearts, know that Wendy's is an A tier for you. Correct. Right. Would you put it on the same tier? Yes. So just put it at an A. Then put Wendy's at an A. No. <laughs> then we, no. We conceded on that. Oh, uh, okay. So all right. So would you objectively, like pretending that Wendy's had not been an option yet, like let's just take Wendy's off the board, where would you put Carl slash Hardy's? It's easily B or higher. It is. But, I, I'm, I'm thinking would I put it on the same level as Burger King? So for me too, like, and so to, to while you think about that, there's a Carl's Jr. literally right in front of where I work. Um, yeah. And uh, so I've had it way too much um, to the point where they know my order when I walk in. <laughs> so 
Um, but I mean, I've worked at that place for nine years. So, and most it's of them crazy have crazy to think yeah, about. I know it just, bleh. anyway. Um, and so their burgers are good. They have also, again, we're not using this as ratings, but like, um, they have like jalapeno poppers, which are really fucking good. Um, and then they used to have, you remember when everybody was doing like a box or like a combo meal for like four or five dollars? Yes. Um, they had one of the OGs. It was a four dollar box meal. Uh, it was a cheese, uh, it was a double cheeseburger, a chicken sandwich, fries, a drink, and a cookie for four fucking dollars. And it was a really good deal. It is now eight dollars. Um, Jesus. Yeah. So they've raised the price on it. But um, it's uh, always decent burger. I never have any problems with it. Okay. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll concede to an A. Okay. Thank you. I didn't realize that I had Carl yeah. Jr. on it. <laughs> yeah. I it was just the star yeah. staring at you. Yeah. Just the star <laughs> being like, hey, guys, what you doing? All right. Dairy Queen. Have you had Texas Dairy Queen? No. So apparently it's different. Because I never had the food at Dairy Queen back in Virginia. I only yeah. ever got ice cream. I only ever got booty there. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole different story. <laughs> um, the parking lot scene some shit. <laughs> so you know the Dairy Queen Mad Heights. That's usually the one we always went to. Yeah. Um, that one I'd always get a chocolate cone dipped in chocolate. Um, so it was chocolate ice cream dipped in chocolate. Yeah. Um, I moved here. First time we went out with some friends, they were like, oh, I want some ice cream. Let's go to Dairy Queen. I was like, I bet I can really use fucking chocolate cone dipped in chocolate. Uh, I went there. They don't do any other ice cream except for vanilla here, um, but their food is banging. Um, so I will admit to that. But, yeah, I was like, what the fuck? And I was like, yeah, can I get a chocolate cone dipped in chocolate? And they're like, I'm sorry, what? I was like, yeah, I want chocolate ice cream and then dip it in the chocolate thing to make it the hard shell. And they're like, well, we'd, we've only got vanilla. And I was like, this is Dairy Queen, right? And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, the place that sells ice cream. You're like, yeah, you know, among other things. I was like, no, dairy. <laughs> <laughs> Queen, you know, <laughs> up there in the royalty area. Um, and you don't have anything but fucking vanilla. And, of course, like, they'd have blizzards, but they'd just make it out of the vanilla base, and that's it. And I was like, what the fuck is that? And so, like, drop it down in the comments. Does, like, your Dairy Queen have any other flavor ice cream? Because I don't know if it was just unique to that one Dairy Queen. Well, I remember or, they had, like, they had a bunch of blizzards. Yeah. Well, I mean, and the blizzards were, you know, usually it's vanilla base and they put a bunch of other shit in it. But they had, like, from the tap, chocolate ice cream. Interesting. And yeah, I don't remember. Don't here. I honestly don't remember. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, I didn't go to Dairy Queen for the food. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, yep. uh, different kind of uh, fine yeah. dining experience, <laughs> if you will. Um <laughs> I'm not going to those stories. No, uh, -uh. uh I will say this. I whenever I did go for the food, it wasn't for burgers. It was always for the chicken tender baskets. Yeah. Chicken tenders and gravy. Uh but I will say this. Their burgers mm. ain't it good. Their the rest of the food's good. Yeah, the burgers ain't it. Yeah. I have a story with that. So there's Dairy Queen, uh so just past where I work. Yeah. Um you are you familiar with that one? It's yeah. on the left. Um that never been, but I know where it's at. That opened four or five years ago, something like okay. that, maybe a little bit longer. And so me and two coworkers were out for lunch and we decided to go there. And we're like, it's Dairy Queen, it's new, you know, like, let's, let's go there. Um, and so we went and we went to eat inside and, uh, and they had literally just opened like two days before. And uh, so we go up to the line order and then we go sit down and then we noticed, like, one of the people in the back was just, like, this greasy-haired, looked like he hadn't showered in I don't know how long back there doing it. We were just going kind of like, eh, whatever. Eh, whatever, you know. But then we saw him, um, when we go to sit down, we go sit down kind of by the bathrooms. He go, then walks by, same guy, with a plunger in his hand and walks into the bathroom and walks immediately back out. So did not wash his hands. And then a few minutes later, guess who fucking brings our food? Mm -mm. Greasy hair motherfucker. And so we have since named it Plunger Burger uh, because that's basically about as equivalent as it is. Like, it's a decent, okay burger, but, like, it's not good enough. Like, I definitely... I'm perfectly content with that. D tier is fine. Yep. So, yeah. Farmer Boys. Never had never it. Never had it. Yeah. Don't know what that is. Five guys. That's S tier. S plus tier. 
Sorry, uh, yeah, I'll say yes. Yeah. Okay, I'll say yes plus. Okay, yeah, okay. absolutely. So, yeah. There, I don't go to five. I'm going to tell you this right now, and this is, this, this, we can end this conversation here and now. I don't go to five guys for the food. I go to five guys because I want to feel like I'm dying when I'm done. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's what it feels like <laughs> because you are so full, you're going to roll yourself to the bathroom and explode in the best way possible. Yeah, but I mean, at the same time, the burgers are banging. They're absolutely. always freshly made. Always good. Uh, I don't give a fuck if I'm paying $50 for a mm-hmm. meal. No. Fuck it. It is that good. Because it's not only a good burger that's good size and you feel fr- pretty full off of. They then, if you order anything other than a little fry, you're doing it wrong because they're going to fill that little cup up and then dump the rest of the fucking mm-hmm. thing in the bag. And so you're going to have a quadruple large fry with it. Too. I'm pretty sure the owner like made a comment about that. Like somebody asked, why do y'all do that? And yeah. I'm, or the owners, I should say, one of the owners, because they're all NFL guys mm. uh, or ex NFL players. And one of them even said, like, the reason is because we know that we can give you a solid experience with the food we're providing yeah. by offering more than what you're going to be paying for. Mm-hmm. When you think you're buying a small fry, you're thinking, oh, I'm getting a small cup, when in reality you're about to find an entire bag of fries. Yeah. And everyone's happy. And ultimately their costs aren't that much more. Correct. So, yeah, it, it makes a lot of sense for them. But, yeah, yeah. man, the burgers are And it's are always, always so fresh. fresh. It's always fresh. And oh, always it's so made fresh. right in front of you. Yeah, I want burgers. I don't want fucking fries right now. But the one that's close by closed. I mean, it made me very sad. Isn't there another one nearby? Uh, I mean, it's down kind of maybe past Lake Line a little bit, but um, why am I asking? I can't have it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you remember that um, that Cajun place that we took you guys to when you first moved here? Yes, uh, that was the Five Guys before. Oh dang! Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it made me sad, but anyway. So yes, uh, Five Guys is absolute S plus tier. Um, fight me, uh, otherwise. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, Freddy's. Have you had Freddy's? I have once. Yeah, it's okay. Hey, so they're more of like a smash burger style yep. um, to where like it's the very thin, you know, uh, kind of compressed burgers. Yep. I'm not a huge fan of those. Not very juicy. They have flavor kind of because of the stuff they put on them. But like the, the, the burgers themselves never really hit the spot for me. Yeah. Um, they're uh, the frozen custard's really good. Yeah. Uh, and that has like unlimited options there uh the fries are like the teeny tiny little steak fries, fries. yeah shoe like fries. Shoe fries um which i i'm not really a big fan of that like for me the smallest i can go is like mcdonald's fries i and and, yeah. and well i'm thinking baseline here like what I, from the one time i ate it would i where would i put it i'm honestly leaning like thinking c or d that's exactly yeah. what i was thinking yeah. and honestly like i would i would probably say c if we were discussing everything yeah but D because it wasn't memorable. Like yeah. it really wasn't one of those moments where I was like, "Oh, this is a good burger." Like, yeah, it was. Yeah. I'm totally fine putting it in D. Yeah, Smash Burger. I so fun fact: I've never actually had Smash Burger. No, yeah. no. I've had it. Uh, they used to have one kind of over by the mall, and by Alamo. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and uh, it is good. Um, that one is kind of like Freddy's. Those aren't smashed down as much, so like there's still some meat to it. Yeah. Um, and then uh, had good customization. Um, the fries were good, but same thing, kind of not super memorable. I will probably put it at a C because it is better than Freddy's. Uh, I, so. I I ride with you on that. Yep, Sonic. <clears throat> Sonic is so hit and miss. <laughs> So yeah, here's the problem that I have with never Sonic. Get the same thing as Sonic. I have had amazing experiences with Sonic. Yeah, and I have had horrid experiences with Sonic, and I've never had an in between. No. Um, but again, we're basing this solely off of burgers, fries, and their drinks and shakes. Yeah, and shakes. Which they have good shakes. They do have good shakes. Yep. They also have phenomenal drinks. Yep. Mm-hmm. Ocean water staple. Yep. Like their fountain drinks are the. the Almost as quithby as you know McDonald's, but not that to level, not to that level. Uh, <laughs> but their burgers. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. The only bad time I've ever had with that experience with them was either the service, yeah, or the tots. Yeah. The reason I say the tots is this. Mm. For some reason, every time I've ordered tots, it's almost like they're taking the basket and dumping it straight into the little cup, and a lot of that grease goes in with it. They are greasy, yeah. I've had I've had moments where I've finished my tots, and I could take the cup and do this, and yeah. literal flow of grease falls out. Mm-hmm. So I don't order tots anymore. Yeah, I typically, if I order Sonic, it's going to be a burger with fries, 
small mozzarella stick and a, um, a frozen drink. Yeah. Um, barring the horrid tots in the service, because if you go to Sonic, like you're hit and miss on the service, yeah. no matter what. This is solely for the food. I would probably put it at an A tier. Um, I could put it on the same level because I yeah. again I'm thinking in my head Wendy's in my heart of hearts is at a tier yeah and I love it just as much as Wendy's gotcha yeah I mean uh the yeah Sonic is good mm -hmm. objectively the yeah service can be hit or miss but we're not raking it off of service um and then um yeah, I, I don't think I've ever had a bad one. And then quick shout out to like their breakfast, like their French toast sticks are really good, and a couple other things like that uh, are, are pretty pretty sweet. That's my wife's favorite is the French toast sticks. Um, yeah, so yeah, I'm totally fine with A tier. Yeah, their cheese sticks are banging. Cheese sticks are banging too. Yeah, really good. There's one uh, honestly, now thinking about that, there's one place I wish we could just put on this list. What's that? Sheets. I so <sighs> wish. Yeah, I miss sheets. I miss sheets so much. Yeah, sheets is. So good. Their burgers yeah. were actually pretty banging if the people knew how to make them. Yeah, but like, that, that kind of had plague, had the same plague that Sonic does. Whereas the service was like kind of hit or miss. Yeah. Um, but man, and then Sheets had so much more. Oh yeah. Their subs were good. Hot dogs. Cheese sticks. Oh, the hot dog. Do the two for one hot dogs. Bro. Two Dude, for you, a you 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 it could be like yeah. two days away from payday. You're broke as shit. You go in there with some quarters and you go walk out with a feast. We did that so many times. Oh. Yeah. Uh. Now I, now, I want to do Crystal first. Have you ever had Crystal? I've never had Crystal. Neither have I. Let's yeah. put it in Never yeah. Tried. Okay. The reason being is because yeah. I want to talk about Steak and Shake. Yeah, let's talk about Steak it's and Shake. It's our last one. Yep. Yeah. What's your thoughts? Um, milkshakes are great. Um, they do have a good milkshake selection there. Um, otherwise... They do, in fact, bring the boys to the yard. Yeah, they do very much bring the boys to the yard. However, um, they're, to me, are on the same level as Freddy's because uh, it's almost the same... Kind of concept. It's just like a smash style burger usually. Um, the fries are teeny tiny, um, and they don't have much flavor. Uh, so yeah, that's a D. I'd put it below Freddy's personally. So here's here's my experience with this. Okay. Okay. I've had steak and shake three times in my life. Mm -hmm. All three were in our hometown when the new one opened up right by the mall. Ah, yeah. First time, phenomenal. Yeah, the line was long, but the food was good, right? Shakes were fantastic. The next two times, however, were absolutely horrifying. The food was not good. It was not – I didn't even receive the right food the second time. Yeah. Uh, I'll be honest with you. If we had an F, I'd put it on it. Yeah. Because that same Steak and Shake closed down in less than a year of opening wow. due to the health inspector coming in and finding out that that place was <clears> – <throat> Filthy. Oh, God. Well, so funny thing, um, the steak and shake that we used to go to over in Round Rock. Yeah. Uh, it's over kind of in the same shopping center as Ikea. Um, they uh, they closed and is now being replaced with the God of Gods, Whataburger. So, blessed be his name. So, The Holy Trinity. Yep. H-E-B, Whataburger. Yep. Ikea. Ikea. <laughs> Ikea. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I, yeah, I would so. say if we could, I'll put Steak and Shake at F, but yeah, yeah, there you go. Here, you know what? Actually, there. let's just fucking just add another one because this one, oh, no, not above. Because uh, this deserves to not be in even with. Make, make, make it black. It's a shadow realm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Banished to the shadow realm. Yeah, we're not, I'm not even going to give it a label. Yeah, yep. don't. It doesn't deserve do it. That. Then we're going to delete this realm. Yeah. So, yep. That is ultimately our. Final tier list. Is there any other shout outs that we need to give as far as burger places on this? <sighs> That's pretty much all of them, I think. I'm trying to think of anywhere that's actually served burgers elsewhere. That's fast food burgers. Because mm -hmm. there's like, of course, local places <coughs> be like Hop Dottie, but we can't really rate that the same. Mm -hmm. Red Robin has good burgers, but they're a sit down place. Mm -hmm. um, Checkers? I've had checkers. 
Uh, what's that other spot? Uh, oh, there's Culver's, I think. is Culver's? One. I haven't had that either. There, I, um, I think they opened one up down here, though. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's also there a chicken place. I'm pretty sure they serve burgers, though. Um, what's that spot? The, 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 their sauce is like the big staple. Um, oh, Raisin Cane's? Raisin Cane's. They don't have burgers. Okay. That's They literally just do chicken tenders. That's it. Good. Their yeah. chicken tenders are heat. They're pretty good. Yeah. Um, we'll have to do another one of these with chicken places. In the future. Boy! <sighs> Don't even play. Yeah. <laughs> Don't even play. Yep. Tumble 22. Shout out. It's a local place. Fantastic. That's not local. That's a chain. No! It doesn't matter. I don't give a shit. Yeah, they make great chicken. Very good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, that, that's chicken, na- that's chicken uh, collard greens, and deviled eggs. Nashville, please. Nashville. Perfect. Well, that's why. That's why the chicken tastes yeah, so it's good. Nashville, Nashville hot chicken. Yeah. yeah. So good. Anyways, anyway. but uh, that's that's our list. Yep. So tell us what you think. Uh, l- let us know in the comments down below uh, if you agree with our list and if you're one of those in and out cultists. Just unsubscribe now. Yeah, you're getting, you're, you're getting reported. Yeah. You're getting reported. Yeah, just yeah, let uh, know. yeah Homeland Security is going to be coming to your door. Yeah, yeah. just just yeah. FBI <laughs> open up. <laughs> uh, anyways, but we appreciate you watching as always. If you liked what you saw, because if you're still watching, you probably enjoyed it. I assume so. Yeah. Or uh, you're just like vehemently ha- or vehemently hating us, you know. Which is even better. Yeah. And if you're but that still means you're a fan. Yeah, so you should engagement. follow. Engagement. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh follow if you're listening. <laughs> If you're listening to <laughs> you us see on any of those listening sites, or give us a nice little subscription, if you will, it's free. It is free on YouTube, uh, and also hit the like button. Uh, and if you have Crispy. nothing, if you have nothing to input on this episode at all, and you just enjoyed hearing us talk about fast food, and you're starving just like we are, drop an emoji down below because uh, engagement. Yep. Uh, but uh, it's that time. So there's a button over there. You can also hit that subscribe button, and then there's a, a video that YouTube recommends right behind me, telling you to. Uh, to go watch it. So let's go get some food. Yes. Peace. Later.